When will the SEC approve a Bitcoin ETF? Hi everyone and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about the chances of the SEC approving their Bitcoin ETF in the United States and when it is most likely to happen. These ETF filings started to push investors into crypto-related ETFs globally. Okay, so let's have more on that point. As we've been discussing, issuers are hoping to get across the finish line with approval for a spot Bitcoin ETF here in the U.S. And they've been busy refiling their applications after the SEC had indicated initial documents were insufficient. A spot Bitcoin ETF is an exchange-traded fund that tracks the price of Bitcoin directly. Unlike futures-based ETFs, spot Bitcoin ETFs would allow investors to buy and sell Bitcoin without having to worry about the complexities of futures contracts. The SEC has yet to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States. However, there is growing optimism that the SEC may approve one in the near future. There are a number of factors that have contributed to this optimism. First, several major institutions have filed applications for spot Bitcoin ETF. This includes BlackRock, Fidelity, and Wisdom Tree. These institutions have a strong track record of having their ETF applications approved by the SEC. Second, SEC Chair Gary Gensler has recently downplayed his role in the SEC's decision-making process on crypto-related matters. This suggests that he may be more open to the idea of approving a spot Bitcoin ETF. Third, the SEC has recently approved a Bitcoin futures ETF. This suggests that the SEC is becoming more comfortable with the idea of allowing investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin through ETFs. Finally, the SEC is currently facing a lawsuit from crypto asset manager Grayscale. Grayscale is seeking to convert its Grayscale Bitcoin trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF. If the SEC loses this lawsuit, it could set a precedent that makes it easier for other spot Bitcoin ETFs to be approved. Overall, the chances of a spot Bitcoin ETF being approved in the United States are increasing. However, it is still too early to say for sure whether or not the SEC will approve one. So, what would happen if the SEC did approve a spot Bitcoin ETF? There are a few potential outcomes. First, it could lead to increased investment in Bitcoin. This is because spot Bitcoin ETFs would make it easier for investors to buy and sell Bitcoin. This could also lead to increased volatility in the Bitcoin market. Second, it could help to legitimize Bitcoin in the eyes of institutional investors. This is because institutional investors are more likely to invest in assets that are traded on regulated exchanges. If the SEC approves a spot Bitcoin ETF, it would signal that the SEC believes that Bitcoin is a legitimate investment. Finally, it could lead to more innovation in the cryptocurrency space. This is because spot Bitcoin ETFs would provide a way for investors to get exposure to Bitcoin without having to buy and store the cryptocurrency themselves. This could lead to new products and services being developed in the cryptocurrency space. So, those are just a few of the potential outcomes if the SEC approves a spot Bitcoin ETF. It's still too early to say for sure what will happen, but it's definitely an exciting development to watch. Michael Saylor, CEO of the largest publicly traded holder of Bitcoin, states that the odds of a spot ETF being approved have gone from 1% six months ago to 65% according to a Bloomberg analyst. Unique and valuable international act, uh, asset, and that's being endorsed by politicians, it's being endorsed by regulators, it's being endorsed by investors, you're hearing money managers like Larry Fink say this. And uh, and that has created a change in sentiment, you know, the, the, the odds of a of spot ETF being approved were 1% six months ago, then they went to 50%, and this morning they were 65%, according to Bloomberg analysts. So that's all well and good, but can we trust the opinion of experts, even if they are considered to be highly credible and knowledgeable? By leveraging the wisdom of crowds, we can remove the need to rely on individual expert predictions. So let's investigate this question further by exploring prediction platforms and using chatbots to query the collective intelligence of the internet. Firstly, let's look at Paula Market. As we can see the following question has been posted Will the SEC approve BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF before August 31st or December 31st, 2023? At the time of writing, it appears very unlikely to happen before the end of August, and odds of only 32% by the end of the year, rather than focus on BlackRock's application. Let's look at questions posted that specifically ask if any Bitcoin ETF will be approved by the SEC before January the 20th, 2025. This offers a more extended and specific timeline. Both Manifold and Mediculus list the following identical question, with predictions of 69% and 65% respectively, at the time of writing. But Manifold shows only 16 predictions whereas Mediculus has 411. Now let's pose the same question to a few chatbots. ChatGPT estimated a 40% likelihood of the SEC approving a Bitcoin ETF before January the 20th, 2025, and provided the following rationale. It is important to remember that ChatGPT can only offer context up to September 2021, so won't have access to more recent updates. It says that the SEC had not approved any Bitcoin ETF as a result of concerns surrounding market manipulation, custody solutions, and investor protection. Okay, let's ask Bard. 
it estimated that there is a 75% chance that the SEC will approve a spot Bitcoin ETF before January the 20th, 2025. The rationale for making that prediction is that there are still some risks that the SEC will need to consider before making a decision. These include the risks of market manipulation and fraud, as well as the risks associated with the volatility of the Bitcoin market. However, it posited that the SEC is becoming more aware of the aforementioned risks and so will take steps to mitigate them. Finally, let's ask Claude. It estimated a 60% chance that the SEC would approve a spot Bitcoin ETF by January the 20th, 2025. Its rationale for making that prediction is that there is growing pressure from investors and the crypto industry for a spot Bitcoin ETF, making it more likely the SEC will eventually acquiesce. Bitcoin infrastructure and regulation have been maturing, which improves the chances of approval. However, the higher likelihood of a Republican SEC commissioner after 2024 elections could introduce uncertainty and delay. There's a chance a spot Bitcoin ETF could get approved and then later terminated if the SEC's concerns resurface. Okay, so now we've got a sufficient number of data points. Let's calculate the aggregated average. Each prediction will be given equal weighting, so this should be taken into account. Perhaps more weighting should be given based on the number of individual predictions contributed. As mentioned previously, Manifold had a low amount of predictions compared to Metaculus. However, let's continue on that basis. So we'll ignore the Bloomberg and Paula market predictions as they do not use the same end date of January the 20th, 2025. The aggregated average is therefore as follows. Manifold 69%, Metaculus 65%, ChatGPT 40%, Bard 75%, and Claude 60% giving an aggregated average of 61.8%. We will continue to monitor the progress of this question as there's no doubt it will have a major impact on the value of Bitcoin. Disclaimer, this content is intended for entertainment purposes only. We do not guarantee the accuracy or completeness of the information published. We are not responsible for any losses or damages that may arise. Nothing should be interpreted as investment or financial advice.